a great day. You guys are so lucky to have this fabulous day. A good day for growing community ties. You know how I know it's dogwood? By its bark. <laughs> People in town for the Neighborhoods USA conference spent the day touring the city. We'll start to get more tomatoes in. This particular group checking out urban agriculture around Omaha. Some spinach. Um, along here we have strawberries. Lambs here along the back here. It's very In total, and nearly 1,000 people will participate in the conference, the event drawing visitors from coast to coast. In Southern California, we're very disconnected, and there are a lot of people who spend much of their day commuting to work, and we feel there's such a lack of uh, sense of place and community. It grows all over. It's amazing what you have here. We're so impressed with these community champions that have stepped forward. From tours of Omaha to the conference home base here at the Hilton, city leaders from around the country are sharing their ideas. Norita Matt with the city planning department says the effort to bring this conference to the metro has been in the works for years. And it's a nationwide initiative. Ultimately, Omaha's strong network of neighborhood organizations sealing the deal. If we don't have a strong neighborhood, we don't have a strong city or a strong country. And it's really about the local level. Ready here in a couple weeks and it's For out-of-town visitors, it's that grassroots commitment to community. They'll be taking back to their own hometowns across the country. I think it's very important that um, there are certain people who will step forward and take the lead because there are a lot of people in neighborhoods that are willing to do something, but it takes kind of a community champion who has a vision and who can work well with people.